good evening uh, welcome to uh, weekly roundup equity market so today it's a real special day because we have seen the markets you know a lot of ups and downs and this week is very special for us to understand how the market behaved in a various scenario in one single week you could see all kind of you no know, ups and downs which really uh, make us to uh, uh, understand how uh, volatile the market is now so let us uh, go to the today's market scenario then we will discuss them in detail what is the head news today sensex nifty post biggest single day drop in 9 months so this is the headline for the week and the kind of a fall what we have witnessed today is also giving some kind of warning uh, for us uh, it is a warning for everybody that you will be alert and be cautious you will have to take care of your capital very safely so this is a message which we should get from this news how the market behaved for the day the kind of a fall what we have witnessed the kind of a fall what we have witnessed is this now last week it was 14 uh, 15004 that is the weekly closing and now it closed at 14523 even today alone went down by 574 points and in uh, sensex if you look into close to 2000 point one single day uh, you no know, drop what we have seen it is also we we'll have to see in last 9 months it is the historical uh, fall so it is sending a lot of message for us you have to be very very cautious i am going to discuss with you in detail in the chart so what kind of a signal we'll get you uh, know earlier and uh, how it can be uh, taken seriously in the coming days okay so this is the uh, scenario which uh, i wanted to bring it your notice uh, this is not just uh, no uh, no casual instance this is sending a lot of message you have to be uh, no cautious of the present market scenario i'll go to the nifty now to discuss and also i'll take india wix first i'll take india wix then i'll go to the uh, nifty chart so let us go to the chart and i'll take uh, india wix first so india wix so how the india wix behaved today this very very important thing to discuss so i'm just taking you to the uh, daily chart now you see the india wix has given a very good signal uh, uh, uh four days before monday it gave a signal this is india wix how do you read the india wix this is a, a, a volatile tain index we call it a fear index and whatsoever it is what the indication we are getting here is when india wix is traveling towards the north when india wix is traveling uh, towards the north like this now history repeats right history repeats i'm just showing you history repeats when india wix is traveling towards the north the nifty will move towards the opposite direction towards the south now you could see this is the old story which i am bringing it notice it's not a, that old story you could very much recollect this is the story of you know 28th february and it is 2nd march so this is the beginning of a yeah, big fall what india witnessed this is the signal given come on alert then after that you could see a drop 1 2 3 there is a drop this 3 days drop was giving you an opportunity come on if you want to escape escape from this otherwise you will be punished you could see here after 3 days india wix moved up and it moved up further so this is the beginning of a big fall this is on 9th march okay so i'm just showing you the indication came on 29th uh, 28th february 28th february uh, even well before that you can say 24th february is a signal something is going to happen 
24th February, this long green candle in India VIX. India VIX is giving signal, I am going up, market may go down. So this signal, this is on 24th February, it gave a signal alert. Then it became a very, very big story or a history rest of the months. You could see here, it was breaking. This is the three days is a breathing period. People would have taken a measure, would have escaped. Otherwise, it should be a very strong race of India wigs. The very strong race of India wigs led to very strong fall of Nifty. Now, the question here is, will the same thing repeat it? Will the same thing repeat it? It is a question. So this continued even from 25, you see the numbers, it broke the 25 number from where it started the journey from 12, 12 went hit the 25, 26 levels, it was resisted and broke, it broke this level and, and the speed at which it was going up this India weeks, the same speed at which Nifty was falling, you could see that it was a pass and again. So the story went on till 24th March. So the game is almost one month game. This one month was disastrous for the Indian market. After that, there is a reversal. This one month, uh, uh, no, 24th uh, Feb to 24th March, this one month damage took almost, almost, almost To come back to normalcy, no, it came no to June, in the month of June, it came back to this level. So June, April, May, June, one month damage took three months to nullify. Of course, this I'm just showing you as a past history. History repeats, that's what technical analysis says. The history repeats. Now we'll come to the present scenario. Now we'll come to the present scenario. Now, this is where we are in. This is where we are in. So again, the 25 level, there is a resistance. And 25 level, there is a big green color candle. It says, come on, there's going to be a big damage for this market. Careful. And it gave a time for you, day one, two, and three. <laughs> The game is same of what we saw in the past. There also we found three days pass before the worst thing happens. After three days, you could see there is a very big, strong green candle of India VIX. It breached 25 level and hit 29, closed at 28.14. So this is the story. When this is the story, let us see how this is comparable with Nifty. Now I'll bring in the chart of Nifty. Then we will discuss in detail how this is going to pan out. I'll compare this Nifty chart. Okay, I'll take the nifty chart. I'll take nifty spot time being. Later we will change to nifty futures. I make it a nifty spot. Okay, so I'm taking a nifty spot and we'll try to compare this. Okay, so I brought a nifty spot on my right and you could see the uh, nifty uh, uh, India wicks on my left. Okay, the story started uh, almost uh, from here, watchful from here. This is 19th Feb. So let me also show you where is 19th Feb here. Okay, so 19th Feb is the time the signal started coming in. 
this 19th feb there was a signal get ready then you could see 20th feb india vix went up market fell down this this is just last monday you could see a very strong green color candle bull candle then you see monday there was a very strong bear candle the reference between the high and the low that day it is more than say 325 points this 325 points gave a hint this gave a hint saying that something this red color long candle say something uh, not good is going to happen i'm just taking the both the candles this is also uh, now the uh, 22nd uh, uh, india wick scandal and this is 22nd this is 22nd nifty so this is 22nd nifty and this is 22nd india wick both are saying something bad could happen to the market a strong you know uh, uh, negative things might happen then india wick gave time you can see candle 1 and candle 2 and candle 3 these three days were the passing days we are let the three days day 1 day 2 and day 3 these three days were you now you are given an opportunity come on alert so these three days what india wicks for the three days what india wicks falling was falling on 3 days you could see there is a rise of nifty so when nifty is going back to 15104 it could have given some soothing effect for the general people but if you are analyzing it you should understand that how it stopped this is the support line of the nifty the same support line was acting as a resistance on the third day you could say it could not go up it could not go up so you could see candle wise this is a kind of a shooting star this shooting star is saying that there is some actually shooting star is a bad omen it is a bad omen for japanese you could see almost a shooting star formation on third day and 1 2 3 3, 3 day can lower now you see the I mean today there is a big candle green candle which is almost double the size of the 22nd candle so this candle giving a indication how the market can behave and how it went down today how it went down you no know, since close 2000 points down and our uh, nifty uh, you know compare with this you know previous uh, closing of 15100 roughly now it is 14000 now 529 so more than 550 points fall okay right this is how india wix and our nifty have the relation yeah good evening gopi this is how india wix and the nifty has got the relationship this is negatively correlated fine now will this continue is the next question will this continue is the next question let us analyze in detail i am going to the futures nifty now and india wix is broken the resistance which is the resistance for almost almost for how long say the period when i when i when i consider the period this is the resistance from 15th to july from 15th to july till now india wix was resisted at 25 levels 25 and odd levels now this resistance level is broken and that may act as a support in case india wix slightly cooling down we cannot cool because if it comes here this 
25 and all level may act as a support and again india wicks may turn and you see here the weight went up and if it pulls down it may even come up to this level only you know from here it can bounce back if that is the scenario what could have happened in the nifty now look at the nifty all these gaps may be filled by the way it is now falling of course there is a gap on the upside when when the travel turns the other way around that also may be getting filled but that is the strong resistance level now so nifty form a strong resistance at this area 15080 become a very strong resistance this is a spot in any case it goes up it could be a strong resistance quickly i will take you to the intraday let us see how today it behaved i am going to change the chart to intraday now i am making it to a 15 minute chart and we'll try to understand how it behaved you could see the vertical line shows the beginning of the day okay i am going to change the intraday behavior of nifty also let us compare so i'll take the nifty also now this is the vertical line you could see there is a gap down here you could see there is a gap down this is a gap down similarly india wicks actually you know you see some trades but it it may not be but here you would see this is a gap up actually this is a gap up this area is a gap up this is a 15 minutes candle 1 2 3 there is a pass 1 2 3 there is a pass after the three candle move maybe if you are technically sound you could see that is also a three candle spinning top coming together after the bull candle it may making a big next up move similarly three candles on the downside when it happen that could be a big fall but on the left hand side is a typical pattern on 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 the structure of uh, candles this three candles spinning tops appearing is also giving a breakout trade or a breakdown trade okay so three candles after passing here you can see there is a after the three candle one and two and three then you could see a sharp raise similarly here you could see after the gap up uh, gap down and forget about the first candle and see this one two and three there is a downward candle happen this is the story or beginning of the day those who are realized that this gap could act as a very strong resistance could understand that it could be a beginning of a bigger fall the story continued and you could see there is a sharp raise of there is a sharp raise of india wicks you could see there is a sharp fall similarly on the nifty so how it uh, now keeps uh, moving on the downside there is a pass there is a pass when it continue to move up and it continue to moving down so you could see at this point of time there was a you no know, short covering which was really pushing the market up this is the short covering which pushed the market up this may be giving a hope for the people thinking that okay market reversed but that is not the end of it right so uh, of course there is a bullish engulfing pattern formed here it is a bearish engulf this is the bearish engulfing here it is a bullish engulf as per japanese pattern the bearish engulfing is showing the selling pressure in general 
I mean, uh, 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 very bullish angle be showing the buying pressure. So the buying pressure really pushing this market up temporarily. Here, this is also falling temporarily. So the bearish engulfing pattern which showed the reversal in India weeks also showed the reversal with the bullying engulfing here. The story is almost same. The last leg you could see India weeks slightly moved up and last leg India weeks slightly moved up. It did not even cross its top but here you could see Nifty went down not only going down it crossed its last bottom also that shows how weaker it is. Okay, so this is the uh, study of India Wix along with uh, Nifty Spot. Now we we'll quickly go on to understand how the Nifty is likely to behave in the coming days. I'm going to take up Futures Nifty for our study purpose so it will be useful for the traders. So I change the Nifty to Futures Nifty and we'll try to study in detail. So I'll remove all the old studies. Of course, um, uh, even in this falling market, every day morning I'm just giving you uh, the 11 o'clock you know, free uh, Futures Nifty live analysis. In that, uh, I gave a hint uh, in general that you could also have an opportunity to do a trade. You know, it is a single direction, it is falling fine. And uh, I, I, in the morning 11 o'clock uh, analysis, I mentioned that, okay, if you want, you can also play a game of long also. How you could play? The place what we spotted is for going long in the morning is this before it touches this area. Before it touches this area. So this uh, 14,671, okay, if you want to be intraday trader, looking for uh, no 40, 50 points, yes, this area could uh, uh, play a role. Your entry should be in the range of 630 to 671 if you want to enter with the stop loss 620. But below this double shot, no, cover your long and go for another shot, double shot. Even in this falling market, in this live analysis, we found an opportunity and it gave you some points at 714. It went up to 714, okay? So even anywhere you entered between 630 and 714 and there was a, a, a positive uh, exit for you at 714. With a minimum of say about, you uh, know, uh, 40 points, uh, you know, 45 points, and uh, maximum of, say about, you know, 80 points. Okay, that is the move. It looks small, but it's a big move in general. But once it breaks the 14,620, you should go for double shot. So I mentioned, you no, know, once it breaks, go for double shot. So double shot was instantly giving you 580. That is the uh, first point again. It was giving you another another opportunity. Okay, if you are not gone short, you can go again at uh, uh, 14,620 to 630 areas. It came down and it went down, went to 550. So there's a big money here, no? Under 70 points. That is for the intraday traders where you get in and get out within a short span of time. So this is how the trade was giving you in the morning analysis, one long and one short for you. That was excellent. Uh, those people who have watched the program could have made money in the morning in the both areas of going long and going short. Okay, so what is going to be the next scenario? I just I go to the daily chart. Now you see um, there is a yeah, big reversal has already happened. You could see the, the important area. You can see here very much. You could see here this is the resistance area then uh, nifty resisted at this 14710 uh, area came down this resistance was broken by nifty on third floor 
then after the budget, you could see there is a strong up move. That means this resistance is taken care of, broken. It is supposed to act as a strong support when the price falls in the future. There was an attempt to stop. There's a greater attempt to stop here. This greater attempt really paid very well. Yes, of course, NSE technical glitch showed here no, another big tail on top. But this support level really pushed the market up. Very powerful up move. But today, the same support level is broken. Now, anything close below this no, 14,500 level could lead to a next fall off to this range. So this can come down to 13,880 levels. 13,680 levels. This is the next So this is how the market can behave. But in between, we have a gap here. In between, we have a gap. This gap area can give some support for the Nifty. The immediate support may come at 14,350. Uh, 14, this is the immediate support. Now we'll have to watch how the story is going to be. This is on the downside, but what could be on the upside? We'll also look into the upside scenario because market always show you both the way it moves. I was showing you India VIX that if, if India VIX cools down, again, the 25 may act as a support, right? That I already explained to you. Let us see if, if Nifty bounces back. Nifty may, may you know, uh, current level to 14,350 could be the next support level. If that is again, you know, I mean, taken and taken as a support and bounces back, the support level which we were talking about all along, this was likely to be a support and the same area is likely to become the resistance. If it comes down here, and the same area may likely to act as strong resistance. So currently it closed at 14,565. And I can say that the resistance could be on the upper part of this zone, 14,720 could be the strong resistance for the days to come. So any bounce back is likely to get resisted around 14,720. Now we are looking into the destination. The destination is towards 14,350 in the first place, may bounce back to uh, 14,720, and it may come back to uh, then 13,880 to 680 levels. So the game is like this, okay? We are looking at this as a move one. This is the move one towards this, and that could be move two. You can take it back to 14,720 if at all it goes up. And the move three, it may come back to this 13,880 level. This is move Three. So the zigzag move, what we are looking at is three wave move could happen if it falls to this area, right? So if it falls to this area, then there could be number two and number three. Like this, it may from here, it may move back to this area and uh, then it can fall back to this. and from here it may rebound okay so 
this is the nifty scenario now we quickly look into uh, we will quickly look into how the sectors behaved for the day even i did not go to the you know uh, uh, lower time frame still now i did not go so i did not go to the lower time frames till now so lower time frames also can play a role now what i'm uh, talking to you is it is what i'm talking to you is only uh, how this can uh, behave currently what i'm talking to is how it behaves currently how it can change over in the coming days so we'll have to be very cautiously look at to the scenario and keep playing the game with the you know entry points close to the support and resistance what we are discussing now let us go inside and look into how we can play the intraday so i'll go to the intraday chart to play this game still further i go back to the chart to understand how we can play this intraday game okay so let us go inside i am just going inside uh, these levels to play this if you want to be a intraday player here uh, yes uh, so intraday player has got some levels to play the playing range is this if the price goes up anywhere into this area you can plan to sell 14006 14671 to 14730 this could be the resistance as well as shorting area if you want to be an intraday player look for an opportunity in case it, it goes here we can think about going short this is the one area which can give you a good shorting opportunity so further if it goes up further it goes up we have second shorting area i'll mark the second shorting area is this the price moves up and of course we already marked this area for you in general there could be a spike i cannot say this area will stay on but it will give you a spike to touch these points 14808 14869 this could be the next resistance we call this, this is the next resistance to go short okay so wait for uh, these kind of areas to go short this is another wonderful area to go for shorting this market of course you should go with stop loss that should be a stop loss of 14885 this could be the stop loss. Okay, so be prepared for two kinds of shorting opportunity if the market bounces back. With the market bounce back, yes, always. Before the big fall, next fall, always it will bounce back. So I have spotted uh, two areas for you to go short. One is this, 14,671. Uh, uh, and 14,808. This two area could be a shorting area for the you know, trading purpose in general. Okay, this is uh, from trading perspective. I'm just uh, giving a hint how you can uh, make use of these areas. Okay, so quickly we look into the sectors to understand how they behave for the day but I want to see the full picture. So let me go to the sectors with complete structure. So now I'm going to the banking. Okay, Nifty Bank. How the Nifty Bank behaves? Let us look into this. Okay, I think last week also we made a study and I, I was explaining this. Uh, this is the important support level. 
and where the travel is likely to be. Uh, this support it took and bounced back. Now the support is broken. Okay. So this is the same thing which is likely to happen. And uh, the strong buy zone also I marked here. The travel can towards the 32,726 area. And this 30,700 is the best buy area in general from the current situation. Okay. So this uh, 35,428. Uh, was the important area in general and that was uh, broken of course it uh, here came here bounces back uh, with the range so this range is is a strong support range in the previous case now it's broken also there's a big gap any rise always is a shorting opportunity okay already we studied this and i kept these levels uh, intact for you and same thing is now is getting repeated i'll go to the auto uh, auto levels how they are now so auto, when I was explaining the last session, I was just explaining that this is the support level. The support level was broken and uh, on Monday, um, if the support is taken, it can bounce back. No, that's what we expected to happen, but that did not. But it stayed on sideways. Instead of going up, it stayed on sideways. Of course, uh, it moved up slightly. Then again, it has formed uh, a beer candle and it ensured the further fall. So the fall is bigger and bigger in the days to come. So fall one and two can take this to next levels. The next uh, uh, level uh, sector is going to be FMCG. I'm just taking uh, you to the FMCG level. Uh, last week I marked this area as the important support level. Day one, two, three, and for four days it was able to hold on this level, but today it it, it removed that level and uh, and and going for a uh, fresh fall but my dear friends entire market may fall but still fmcg will take a support here and it will bounce back and this is the first support this is the support one for fmcg so uh, the day traders or swing traders can look for this opportunity to buy and sell because all the institution will move their stocks from the high beta uh, to the defensive defensive sectors so fmcg is the one and the next sector is going to be the health, uh, the pharma sector. So the pharma is the next defensive sector where people would like to park their money. Yes, it was on the falling trend. I said, this is the selling area. This is continuously we are monitoring. Exactly, it resisted here and started falling. And it is taking the support almost in this area. It taking the support almost the area what we marked in the past. Today also it is now holding on because the mutual funds may be shifting their money from these other sectors to pharma now to a large extent. So pharma is one hiding place for them to safeguard their NAV. So that's what is happening in our support level. Then we look into the IT sector. IT was the worst hit in Nasdaq yesterday, but when you watch this, the support level what we have marked for you yes still it is holding the support level we do not know because the worst market situation is there but uh, it is holding on to the current uh, support level this is the best scenario for the it sector and market if at all has to bounce back the it has to act on this it and pharma only have the potential uh, to turn back because they are close to the support level at this juncture Finally, we see metal, metal which was ruling this market for several uh, no, weeks and months. Now, let us see how it is. So I was marking, this is the resistance level, but uh, last week it broke, it broke this. This resistance level was broken and started going up. So it nicely went up and still it is holding good and metal may uh, likely to uh, hold and do very well in the coming days also so metal if at all it comes down it may be getting supported around these levels and it may bounce back so in the order of going up it could be metal first and pharma second fmcg third these three sectors may have a positive uh, scenario compared with all other sectors all others are showing a lot of negative signals 
okay so this is how the market uh, uh, currently behaving i hope uh, the uh, current situation of the market may turn around for some time and i hope you enjoy watching this uh, weekly roundup